Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth. How long has it been? Yo, I know that we stopped at a bad time. I'm very sorry. A couple of things happened. I couldn't get stuff ready and then I was a little bit sick, but we are back. And you know what? I'm determined to get to the bottom of this. I've got to figure out what the hell is going on. Honestly, I'm still surprised this is going. This is a long case. If I can't get permission to investigate the crime scene, then the truth will be lost. That's right. So basically, we're in trouble. Because we need to investigate the haunted house. We need to. But old man dude over there, old man River, just freaking bought it and now he's keeping us out of it. Just to freaking make sure that his son is safe? I don't think so, sir. We're gonna have to figure out what to do. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. What's wrong, darling? What you doing? Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing spacing out? Have you forgotten? There's only one thing you should do at a time like this. What is it? Oh. Take my pants off? Wait, no. No, 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 I don't think that's what she meant. And what is that? When the people are in a bind, the hero of justice appears to save the day. Look, you just leave it to me. She's gonna sneak in, is she? For I am Kay Faraday, the second of the great Yatagarasu. Girl. If you say it in front of the old man, you're gonna know what you up to, though. But I thought you were a thief, not a hero. Uh, you know, potato, potato. Look at poor girl crying in the back. This this case is a mess. The Atagarasu is noble and is always a thief of justice. That's... of course. If we have enough information, I can recreate the inside of the haunted house with this. Right, I, you know what, it totally slipped my mind that she had that. But man, we ran into some problems using that before. Plus, if we factor in everyone's testimony. You can recreate exactly what happened when I dropped off the ransom money. Yeah. We may be able to figure out some new information through this. It's worth a try. You're gonna do it right in front of old man Duke over there. I wouldn't. Wolverine, you can come though. Agent Lang? Ah, so you wanna use your little toy? Be my guest. Okay, hang on. You're all about to witness the true power of real modern-day Robin Hood. I don't know, personally, I would not do this in front of the son and the father and the crying Holy Ghost over there. I would... <laughs> go somewhere else. Don't let them see your plan. Detective Gomshu? Is there a copy of the Haunted House's blueprint amongst the police reference documents? Yes, sir. We got it just in case we needed it for the kidnapping case. Alright, let's have that. Alright, I'll input the Haunted House data then. Here we go. It's time for Tron World. Well, what is this? Where are we? Oh, good idea. Okay, I didn't think of that. Bring him in here and then have him have a heart attack. Perfect. That'll fix everything. No, I'm serious. It, it's like we're inside the haunted house. Even if we can't inspect the real location itself. The path to the truth slumbers here. Well, I gotta say, this VR part looks way different than the original one we did with just like the two bodies standing there. Yeah, this looks way better. Holy shit. If I can successfully navigate my way using logic, I'll ultimately arrive at the truth. Now then, I believe I'm ready to investigate the crime scene. Right. Okay, what should I recreate first? You haven't figured it out yet? <laughs> maybe I have and maybe I haven't, but I'm gonna make you do all the hard work. Very well. I'd like to inspect the moment in which I was ambushed by my abductor. But who saw that? How are we going to recreate that? The two of them were definitely in this place at that time. If I can verify that, it may provide me with a new lead. Alright. There's the dining room. Hmm. I had just come out of the hallway after leaving the money inside the dining room. Right? Uh oh, here, uh oh, here's where it gets spooky. At that time, I saw a badger slumped over on the floor at the end of the hall. Right, okay, I remember that. You know what? It didn't even click that there was one over there. Eh? What was the badger doing all the way down there? I also thought it strange. However, I thought that maybe it was simply a mannequin that was set there for atmosphere. Maybe, but maybe not, huh? Do you know which badger it was? No, it was too dark to tell. All I saw was its silhouette. Yeah, it's hard to tell from this picture. Hmm. In that case, I'll just program a badger silhouette in for now. Oh look, there's Ghost Edgeworth. How about that? Okay, programming complete. Let's see it. 
Uh, let's see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. But wasn't, was that not the one that just got up, though, and, and, and got us? See, the thing is, is, I can't remember if that's the one that stood up and got us, or if there was one that came around the corner and got us. I can't remember. I guess we're going to find out right now, though. It's been a hot minute. Then I started walking towards the exit. And that's when you were struck from behind, right? Yes. But that's odd. The hallway is a dead end. Oh, never mind. There is no corner. Where did your assailant come from? So it was that bad dry bat. There's only one location I can think of. I believe my assailant was lying in wait here. Lying in wait here. Uh... I mean, I'm gonna assume that it was th this was the assailant. It's sl they were slumped over waiting, right? Looking like part of the scenery. Yeah? I'm pretty sure this is it right here. That's what I'm gonna go with. That doll I saw wasn't really a doll. It was, in fact, a costume kidnapper. Okay, so the spooky that came up to us and bopped us on the head, that was them. Oh, so he used the costume as the perfect camouflage to blend in with the rest of the house. Precisely. He waited until I had made the drop off and was about to leave. Then, just as he saw me take a step towards the exit, he stood and launched his attack. I can think of no better hiding place than this. Hey, not bad. I'm beginning to think I should steal this tactic for myself. Just don't use it to do anything criminal, okay? Okay. Well, there he goes. Look at that. He looks like a giant chow. <laughs> Look out, Grandpa! Well, Lance, well, what are you asking me for? As one of the kidnappers, I figured I should give you the chance to confess first. I was one of the kidnappers, but I don't know anything. I did come up to the haunted house, but I never set foot inside. I left Oliver in charge of picking up the ransom money. Mm-hmm. He didn't set foot inside. Is he telling the truth, or is this another lie? All right, then you're claiming that it was Mr. Deacon who assaulted me? Yes, I'm sure it was him. Okay, in putting the new info now, Mr. Deacon was the bad badger, right? Since the bad badger has a gun attached to his right hand, I'll have to change it so the weapon is in his left hand. Wait a minute, that wasn't the badger we saw, though. We know which one we saw, right? In the beginning, and it wasn't him. It was the other one. Not to verify the facts of the recreation. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're gonna investigate this. Let's do it. The haunted house. Go, oh, blimey, where do we even start? First of all, let's talk to everyone. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing, sir. The space that I'm standing in, it's like out of some crazy dream. Except that this isn't a dream. This is something Kay's gadget. No, 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 wait. This is exactly like a dream, sir. I've never been so impressed. It's a miracle. Oh. Oh, God. He's very excited. Well, look, you would be impressed, too, if you'd never seen this before. Let's be honest. VR is pretty, uh, pretty big. And you don't have to wear that helmet or anything. Oh, this is a prodigy oh, you gadget? No, I wish I had one, too. Well, once this is over, I'll let you play with it for a bit if you want. Wait, what? Was that it? No, don't. Don't do it. You do that for me, pal? All right, let's wrap up this case already. It's times like these that I wonder if they understand the seriousness of the situation. No. Wolverine, you alright? Thanks for letting us use, um, little thief. Lang Z says, reject not those who seek the truth. So, keep in mind that I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing this for the truth. If he really is into the truth like he says, then hopefully we'll get him on our side. Don't worry, I understand. We may have different methods, but our wishes is the same. 2B, you okay? So, have you noticed anything worthwhile? I have no obligation to talk with you, Beepoop. Well, I'm fine with just little thief in solving the case. That toy, it's very well made. <laughs> That's because it has the heart of the noble thief, Yatagurasu. Okay, that may not be something you want to advertise to everyone. Oh. So, Shina, what exactly is the source of this extra-dimensional-like space? I believe this is nothing more than a projection from that girl's toy, Beepoop. So it's all uh, an illusion, right? Yes. Why did you... Why'd you pause? Hey, don't treat this like some sort of silly light show. Girl, but... But girl, that's all it is, though. Hello. You can lie all you want, but it will be all for naught, Lance. 
As soon as I expose the truth, you will be placed under arrest. <laughs> How could you do this? After all, my dad has done for you. What your father has done for me is unrelated to the charges you face now. Ugh, unbelievable. You know, you sound kind of like a bully right now, Mr. Edgeworth. Oops, you kind of do, though. If I'm not serious about this, he'll never understand the true gravity of his crime. I will not allow him to remain a child forever. Haha, <laughs> now you sound like a dad. Dad Edgeworth, girl, you done crying, you're alright. Miss Pops, by my hand, I will prove your innocence in the murder of Mr. Deacon. Therefore, please don't fret, it will soon be over. You're alright there, girl. Now she's crying again. <laughs> Do not trust me. I, 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 that is. Your face is all beat red, Miss Pops. No, I can't, I have Lance. Lolly, don't tell me you like that guy more than me. Because she's very, she's very wishy-washy. That's... I mean, Edgeworth is very dashing. It happens. Oh, why am I so pathetic? So easily swayed by even a single glance. Girl, same bow. I, I... Uh, what exactly is she going on about? I think you have another guilty person on your hands, Mr. Edgeworth. Alright, old man. How you doing? Miles, my boy, what is the meaning of all this? Do you plan to pay me back for all I've done for you with the conviction of my son? Yeah, if he's guilty, hell yeah. I have not forgotten my debt to you, however, your son's crimes are a separate matter. Further, I can't ignore the truth when it's right before me. Like your big self, right before my eyes. Bruh, you regret this, I promise you. No matter the outcome, I never regret the choices I make. Alright, so how, how far can we go? No, it's not very big at all, it's just this tiny... Whoa! You scared me, bro. Can we go all the way back here? Okay. Well, let's start... Um, I guess let's start back here and go all the way to the front. I remember glancing over and seeing this figure sitting here as I left the dining room. So I guess it got spot on when I put it here in my recreation. I didn't take a good look, but I'm sure there was a badger here. Yeah, but it's not the right one, I don't reckon. When you take a look around, it almost feels more like a house of mirrors. Indeed. Who has ever heard of this many mirrors inside a haunted house before? Haunted houses tend to have a lot of mirrors, don't they? Because they want to, like, reflect all the spooky. Mirror shards, alright. Like a mirror house, haunted house hybrid, this place is full of mirrors. Alright, we got the logic. Hey, wait. These shards, there's something different about them. Oh? The ones we found earlier are thicker than the shards from these mirrors on the wall. Oh. And look, there's some sort of design on the back, too. The pieces from that costume are certainly different from the other mirrors. What does this mean? Could it be that our pieces are not pieces of these mirrors? I think that's what it means. Okay, so we have different mirror fragments. Right. Alright. Let's examine this one. I imagine this is how he snuck up on you. That gadget of yours can even replicate people's movements? Well, it's used to plan heist, so of course it's got to be able to simulate the police. It's definitely very well made. Perhaps too well made. Maybe I should confiscate it after the investigation. Leave her alone. Let her have her toys. What's this? Pieces of a set of armor in a pile here. Why do you think they almost always have sets of armor inside haunted houses? I suppose this sort of interior design is meant to bring out a sense of the abnormality. It's just old, right? Medieval stuff, old stuff, old mansions are usually haunted. Why do all your explanations have to be so hard to understand, Mr. Edgeworth? Now try explaining it again, but this time so even that a thief like me can get it. What she means is, explain it like I'm five. That may prove to be a most difficult task. Oh, Edgeworth, you can do it. How about this mirror? When you take a look around... Oh, it's the same. Alright. Oh no, okay, it's still the same. It's still different when you look at any mirror. Right? Okay. Let's examine this one. Whoa. Yeah, that's not what we saw. Not at all. Also, I didn't know you were a Jedi. You didn't recreate the weapon. Well, I can't exactly recreate something I know nothing about. So, tell me, what were you hit with? The attack came from behind, so I have no idea. But I doubt it was someone's bare hand. Hmm, okay. Where were you hit? I was hit on the right side of my head, just above my temple. There was a bit of blood, but it wasn't anything serious. Ow! Sounds painful. Why are you smirking like that when you say it? <laughs> it's just your imagination. Now let's see. 
I wonder if there's anything in the hallway that could have been used as a weapon. I'm looking for something the culprit could have used to hit you with. Uh... Let's see... Oh, in here they mean, not in, not in the actual thing that we're looking at. Well, what do we've got? Model gun. You could blunt end somebody with a pistol, but... Because mm, we've got two of those. I, you know what? I'm thinking it was probably this, because there's swords everywhere in the armor, right? So that would mean that it was easily grabbed. Let's try it. It was used to jam the handle, but I think probably it was taken from here. Alright. I have it. There was indeed one such object lying here in the hallway. A prop sword. Are you talking about this thing here? Yes, although we did find it at the kidnapper's hideout. Wait. Yes, it's possible the culprit took it with him after using it on me. To leave no evidence behind, right? Correct. It may be worth a more thorough examination yet. Alright. Okay, so what test do you want to run on the sword? Oh, Luminol, yeah. Is Emma even here? We did ask her for her help. So hopefully she'll be able to. I would say Luminol for sure, right? Although dusting for prints would probably work too. But it's a, they were all wearing costumes, so it's really not useful, is it? The culprit was wearing costume at the time, so fingerprint analysis is useless. Let's run a luminol test. It's possible that some of my blood found its way onto this. Agent Lang, may I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Ugh, like I have a choice. Shina! Call the lab boys. Understood, beep boop. Except for a dab on the left side, it would appear that the blade is spotless. So it must have been the left side of the prop sword that hit you then, right? Broken prop sword updated. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll update the recreation with this new piece of info. Let's do it. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Now we've got to, now we've got to look at this particular scene, which looks really weird because we know that's not the right badger. Right. Where do we want to look at? Probably anything we can examine. Just anything at all. So there's a gun here. You know, the Bad Badger is pretty bad looking when you see him up close. Well, what did you expect from a character named the Bad Badger? And those sunglasses, wearing them in the dark makes him seem extra bad. Now I'm lost. Which meaning of bad does she really mean? I don't even know. Alright. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same. Alright, then maybe we're just looking for like the things that he's holding, because the gun didn't even work, so how about the sword? And in the next instant, this badger will swing his left arm complete with weapon in hand. Yes, to club me with the left side of the prop sword. Shall I recreate the moment of impact? I want to see the pained expression on your face. It's just fine the way it is. Wait, maybe not. Is it just my imagination or is something not quite right? Oh, wait a minute. What's not right, Edgeworth? Let's deduce this. Let's deduce the sword and see if something's there. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Point out the contradiction. Um, where's the actual sword in here? Here it is. Culprit hit me in the right temple with this. Touch the checkpoint. Can we look at it and see if there's anything... The right... Is it the side? Hmm. So the side of that holding it like that is on the left. Doesn't look like that would be where the blood would splatter. But maybe I'm wrong about that. I'm gonna present it and hope that the game kind of leads me to what I'm supposed to say here because that would be my first thought. Either that or where it's broken. Because, well, it was broken from the door, that's the problem, not really our head. Mm, there's a couple ways we could go with this, let's see what happens. This could be wrong. Oh no, it wasn't. Finally, I found a clear contradiction of facts about the sword. I guess this one. Except for a bit on the left side, this prop sword is absolutely spotless. However, if the culprit had used his left hand- Okay, so I was right, it's the opposite side. I wasn't sure by the- by the, the picture exactly, because it could have splattered. But yeah, then it would have been on the other side as well. The opposite side, huh? If the culprit held the sword in his left hand, then the sword's right side would hit. 
I see. But the blood was on the left side of the sword, right? Which means that he used his right hand to hit you. Exactly. This prop sword has a large hand guard attached to the hilt. It would be impossible to hold it with two hands while wearing a costume. Wait, how did he hold it in his other hand? What about the gun? Therefore, couldn't be in the left hand of both hands. It must have been in the right. I'll change the data to reflect a right-handed swing. Not yet, Kay. There's no sense in changing anything yet. If you change the parameters to the right hand, it only creates a new contradiction. Look at this frame. It's weird. I don't like... Like, the badger's head poking out of his shoulder and then the creepy ghost Miles Edgeworth in his hand. It's strange. I don't like it. Changing the prop sword to be in the culprit's right hand will conflict with what? The gun that he's supposed to be holding, I'm, I'm assuming. This one. Because he's supposed to have it sewn in. So is this where they come up with the fact that it's not the bad badger? Because we know that it's not. That. That's gotta be it. The bad badger already holds a gun in his right hand, so he can't hold a sword in addition. Hey, that's right! Then what now? If it wasn't his left hand or his right... It means that the one who struck me could not have been the bad badger. That's right. Are you paying attention, Lance? Ugh. Mr. Deacon could not have been the one who struck me. Which leaves only you as our primary suspect. Ugh. Fine. It was me. I hit you. Man, you could have just said that in the beginning. It appears you lied to me yet again, but see how quickly they catch up to you? Wait, isn't Lance left-handed? Ah, uh, yes. But that's what makes this deception all the more interesting. He used his right hand to make it look like Mr. Deacon had been the one to strike me. Man, he thought about it that much? Because he doesn't seem that smart, to be honest. For you see, firing a gun with one's non-dominant hand is difficult. But that level of dexterity isn't required to swing a prop sword. Ugh! There you go again, boy. Okay, please input this new data. The one who hit me from behind was Lance. Or should I say the proto-badger? That is the right badger. You got it, here I go. All right, now we're getting to it. There we go, oh God, I don't like it. I don't like it. Now we have a faithful recreation of the situation around the attack on me. Oh, right. All we have to do is examine this new recreation and... What now, Wolverine? What? How are you going to interrupt this, though? I'm on a roll. <laughs> what exactly is so funny, Agent Lang? That amusing little gadget, it sure packs a punch, right, Sheena? Yes, it was all I could do to hold my laughter in. Girl, you probably don't even laugh. Androids don't laugh. Hey, don't make fun of little thief, you mean old werewolf. He and Mr. Edgeworth bring out the best in each other. You've had your little fun, but now it's my turn. I've sat quietly by listening. But the crude conclusions you two keep spewing don't whet this wolf's appetite. Is that a euphemism? I think that it is. There's no guarantee that your toy will always show the real situation at any given time. All it displays is whatever information you put in there, right? Well, when you put it that way... Yeah, but he admitted to doing it, so of course we're going to change it. Your suppositions are wrong. It's not your fault, so I'm going to let you in on this. There is a trick to this haunted house. And what might that be exactly? A trick beyond what your tiny imaginations can produce, Sheena. Tubi, what are you doing? Here you are. Well, look at her sliding on her little roller skate seats, because androids have wheels on their feet. And jetpacks. Now then, what you miss, girly, is written right here in the pamphlet. Seven Wonders of the Haunted House, The Disappearing Badger. What is this? I'd say that someone around here is fond of theatrics. And as you can see, they set a doll down at the end of this hallway for that purpose. Oh, and they're saying it's the other badger, are they? Basically, the blue badger you saw was just a stupid doll. Gatewater Lamb Pamphlet updated, okay. How can this be? Guess that throws your old theory about it being your attacker right out the window. How serendipitous that you would have this right now. But that can't be right. Maybe the culprit hid the doll somewhere, but he just admitted it, though. Doesn't that j Whenever someone admitted something to you, you just took him in before. What the fuck's happening now? And then he laid down and pretended to be it instead. What? If the criminal couldn't even hide himself in the hallway, how could he hide a giant doll? Huh. Do you get it now? 
Thanks to your presumptions, your logic started off weak and led you to the completely wrong conclusion. Ugh. Now get off your high horse. I wish I had a high horse. Mr. Edgeworth! Oh, what are we gonna do? Okay, I wonder if you could please input the new information for me. Oh, we're gonna prove him wrong. You don't know when to quit, do you? I can't quit. Not until I can declare that I've found the truth. Agent Lang, for the additional information, you have my thanks. T there you go again. We'll see if I care. Okay, I'm updating the recreation now. I don't know. How is this gonna work? Okay. So they're saying that the dolls over there was the blue badger. But the proto badger still- yeah, it does look weird. That's not right. Look how it changes from the blue badger into the proto badger all of a sudden. If the slumped over badger was just a doll, where was my attacker hiding? Well, that's what we're gonna find out, right? So, come on, Mr. Edgeworth, let's go! So are they really going with this? Alright, let's try to figure out how that might have happened. This recreation can't be right, which means there must be a contradiction somewhere. Okay... So now what? Hmm... Well... Let's go all the way to the end once more. And see what we can do here. Okay, he wants me to examine this part thoroughly. Alright, alright, let's look. Examine him. This blue badger is just a doll for use in this haunted house. I bet the one who killed this blue badger was the bad badger, right? According to the blue badger bible, it says that they are each other's worst enemy. Alright, there is a picture of him right there. All because one's an ally of justice, the other's a vic- a va criminal with a gun? Perhaps they were just destined to battle each other. Much like the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Man, Ezra still loved that Steel Samurai, didn't he? Hmm. Alright, well, we can deduce. Let's see what it brings up and asks us. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Uh, well, let's see. He's just sitting there with his dumb face. Can I look at the picture of the badger again? Is there anything weird? No, not that one. I meant the other one. Oh, the Bible. Yes, please. Blue Badger, an ally of justice who keeps the peace. There he is. His little belts. Oh, wait, his belts are wrong. They're they're reversed. Oh, oh okay. So is this what I want to present? Here. Eureka! Is that going to work? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Hold on a second. There's something wrong with this Blue Badger. Huh? Like what? The way the belt is on him is opposite of how it should be. Did you make a mistake? That can't be. I ain't put the image date exactly as it is in the pamphlet. So then why is the blue badger dressed up in reverse? Why is he dressed up in rever- Oh, <gasps> yo! The mirrors! That must be what it is. Okay. Hang on, it's this. Right here, right? Because it's right here next to him. That must have something to do with it, but what? Okay, when you take a look around, it almost seems like mirrors. Who has ever heard of it? They said this before. With the shards. The ones we found earlier. Okay, this is all the same. I thought maybe they would say something different. Pieces from that costume are certainly different from the other mirrors. What does it mean? Uh, is this logic we want to put... Yeah, 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 I think so. This is probably logic we need to put together now. The blue badger in reverse and the mirror shot. Yeah, I'm doing it. Because that's obviously got to be it. Okay. What have we got? Okay, do you remember what you said earlier? What I said earlier about what? About how this building might as well have been a house of mirrors. A house of mirrors? Oh, I bet you one of them moves or something. Like, maybe they're doors. That would explain the reversed or mirror image. Yes, this blue badger might be nothing more than the reflected image of a real one. Then the blue badger you just saw was a reflection? I think so. When I looked down this hole, I thought it was perfectly straight. However, if there was a mirror... Oh, look at that! Wait a minute, though. Don't we have the blueprints? Couldn't we have told that just by looking at the blueprints? Oh, shit. That seems like an oversight. Oh, then it would actually form an L shape, right? 
Precisely. I was deceived. The hallway was almost pitch black. And there was a beam in the way that obstructed my view of the other hallway. Wait, but why build this place like that? It sounds pretty pointless to me. Okay, this house is just another attraction at an amusement park. They created a mirror wall for the very specific purpose. One I can point out to you. This was the reason they built a mirror wall. This was the reason they built a mirror wall. What was updated recently? This, right? Map and explanation of the park. Can we look at this? Seven Wonders of the Haunted House, The Disappearing Badger. Haunted House Stadium. The Disappearing Badger. I bet you it's because they're rooms. Maybe they can get into a small room. If it was an L shape, there could be a room off the mirror. Is this, but is this what we want to present? I don't think we have anything else. Head, photo rally, Bible, stolen costumes, costume of that, no, none of this. Just making sure, let's just go through everything to be sure, because I think, I think this is going to be very important. Different from the mirrors on the walls, very thick and has a design on the back. So I'm thinking that I'm right about this. Perhaps they could be moved. This is the thing that shows the thing right there, because look, when you look at it, right? See, look behind it. So look behind him. It, it, it looks all, like, dark. It's the same colors as the pieces that were on the mirror in the back. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but that's really all I can see. Take Let's that. present that. As it's written in the pamphlet, the main draw of this attraction is the mystery of the disappearing badger. You mean they built the mirror for that trick alone? But you said you saw the badger, so it was definitely still there. That was true at the time, however. Doing this allows someone to make the blue badger disappear in a flash. The mirror wall. Like I said, okay, so they're doors. I'm gonna go with that. To remove a reflected image, simply move the mirror. Look, it swings. First the mirror was constructed so it could be moved. Then, beyond where the mirror was, an empty hallway had to be created. Oh, so when they wanted people to see the blue badger, they would open the mirror. You see? Ah, and when they wanted to hide it, they simply had to close it again. This explains why the other side of these fragments have a design on them. Ah, and if the pattern is the same as the other walls in the hallway... Then, when the mirror is closed, it would blend in with the rest of the walls. This is a mirror trick that the haunted house employs. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is still a little bad. And this also proves the existence of a hiding place for the culprit. Here we go! Huh? How so? Think about it, Kay. There was a place that was outside my field of vision. The culprit kept out of sight by hiding here. Well, I'm assuming over here. Because, yeah, because then if you open it, he's right at the end of the hallway suddenly when he came to get us. Yeah. Take that. That's gotta be it. There was a very large blind spot, one I could not see beyond, and it was here. If my assailant hit on the other side of the movable mirror... Then you wouldn't be able to see him. So both badgers were there, in theory. He didn't even need to do anything to the blue badger doll. Exactly. All he had to do was wait for me on the other side of the mirror. Wait. Hold on. I just thought of something. Yes? Well, shouldn't the mirror wall be broken right now, in reality? Hmm. Since we have a few shards of it, we can probably assume that it is. Yes, it most definitely is broken. The question is, when was it broken? Since we found these inside the victim's costume, that would mean that the victim was there when the mirror was broken. Wait. That sound? <gasps> oh, yes! Of course! Because we forgot about this, right? Right! That sound I heard was most definitely the sound of a mirror breaking. Okay, I'd like you to input some new information. Oh, holy shit, I'm getting it. Don't scare me like that! Sorry, but I need you to recreate something for me. Sure, whatever you need. So what do you need, anyway? If you could, first recreate this hallway just before I enter the dining room. You got it. Alright. I think I've- I think I've got this. I think I understand. Right. Now this, I believe, is how it was right before I entered the dining room. Although, at the time, I thought it was but a single straight hallway. 
and then I went inside. That's when the thing was moved. It was around then that I heard the sound of a mirror shattering. You heard what? Then- Yes, I believe it was then that the mirror was broken. Okay, so then when you stepped outside into the hallway again- The mirror wall should no longer exist. Okay, please recreate that. Got it. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, this is making sense now. Wait, but with the mirror gone, the culprit lost his hiding spot. So, where did he go in the proto-badger suit, Mr. Edgeworth? Ha, huh, that's easy enough. With the mirror gone, he simply hid himself in the branch hallway. Yep, I think this about wraps it up. Looks like we finally solved everything! No, 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 not yet. An even larger contradiction has now reared its head. Huh? Perhaps you did not notice. But this recreation contains a very troubling inconsistency. I think I know what it is. The inconsistency between what I saw and the recreation lies... Okay... Over here. Because, okay, so what I'm thinking is, what about the third person? What about right here? Where did they go? Were they there too? I don't think so. Okay, look at this uh, hallway. Oh, there's no blue badger there. Exactly, the blue badger that I saw in reality is not here. This is the final point on this long chain of logic. The last remaining contradiction. Here we go. Music time. Here it come. Get ready to groove. Yes. Oh, I understand. So let me get this straight. When you came out of the dining room, you saw a badger, right? And that is precisely where the final contradiction lies. Something that shouldn't exist was there before me. Who or what do you suppose it was? I already know. I believe this is the real identity of our mystery badger. I know what it is. Where is it? It's this. The victim's costume. One at the time of the shooting, gunpowder burn is proof he was shot from point blank. It's this, isn't it? He was left there. Oh shit, I think I'm right. The badger I saw was in actuality the dead victim's body. Ugh. Yeah, you freaking out now, ain't you boy? What? Look, don't get all kung fu on me now. Agent Lang, the entirety of my complete logic is my final decisive piece of evidence. The murder happened in the hallway of the haunted house at the time of the drop-off. And, you can consider the moment I heard the mirror breaking to be the real time of death for Mr. Deacon. No! Maybe it was due to their fighting, or perhaps it was the life-shattering bullet. And that's why the mirror shattered as well. But no matter what the cause was, the hallway mirror wall was broken. What you gonna say now? Ha! <laughs> you were in the house at the time, right? Are you telling me that you missed the sound of a gunshot? Objection! We've shot a point-blank range! There was a variety of sound effects playing at the time, all for theatrics, I assume. The gunshot must have blended right in. Ah, he's gonna take that, is he? I'd surprise he didn't object to that. Now then, I'd like you to recall something for me. Who was it that was with the victim at the haunted house? Ugh. It was you! Who was the one who had the opportunity to rob the victim of his gun and use it on him? Keep going. You gonna break those things. It was you, Lance Armino. Oh boy, uh oh, here it come! <laughs> oh. Oh no, god, I thought he was gonna take off like a rocket. I was just crying. Well, that's boring. I'm sorry! Oh no, ew, cry baby. I don't think so. Now you sorry? Now you are. It's not like I had a choice. Alpha turned on me all of a sudden. He snapped and turned violent right after I hung up with you. He shoved me to the ground and straddled me. Oh. I fought back as hard as I could, grabbed his gun, and I shot him. The bullet must have went through his body and shattered the mirror. If I hadn't taken his gun and shot him first, it would have been the one you found. He's a hardened criminal. He escaped from jail. See, that's justified self-defense. My boy was only trying to protect himself. That remains to be seen and will have to be resolved in court. Oh, I can't wait for Phoenix to get a hold of that. No, he's not gonna, but somebody will. Agent Lang, I leave the rest to you. <laughs> As if you were the one in charge around here. But I was. Guys, arrest these two and get them out of my sight. Bye, bitches. Ah, oh, that's very satisfying for as long as this was. Wait, 
I had nothing to do with the murder. No, but you were covering it up. So guess what? Aiding and abetting. The only person you should be arresting is Lance. Oh, you're not coming to his aid now, are you? Dad! Oh shit, he fainted. Well, rip. Sorry, but you're not slipping away that easily, Mr. Ernest Amino. You tampered with the evidence so that you could cover for your son. Yup. What a great dad you are, willing to risk it all, truly touching. Dover! Your money ain't gonna get you out of this now, but maybe you could wipe your ass with it in jail, though. By the way, do you know why I'm really here? And how could I possibly know the answer to such an asinine question? You ruined me. I came all this way from across the sea just to see you, you know. You came to see me? What's that supposed to mean? I have a few things to ask you, Mr. Amino, about a case from ten years ago. A case from ten years ago? Oh, what's the name that you use here for that case? Shina! Beep boop, it's known as the KG-8 incident. Okay. Hang on now, that's gonna tie- of course. The KG-8 incident? Oh, so you remember it? Good. Then you recall that the trigger in that case was the Amino Group scandal. Specifically, the charge of an internal smuggling ring. It's all coming together, isn't it? Are you shitting me? Smuggling, there's that word again. At the time, the person that was arrested as the ringleader was Mr. Amino's very own secretary, Mr. Colin DeVore. Ah! Father! Even though you pushed the crime onto your then secretary, Mr. DeVore, I always suspected that you were involved with the smuggling ring, Mr. Amino. Mr. Tavori was arrested in peace of, and place of you. Whoops. So he was arrested. Oh, shoot. So he was really innocent? Which is why when he broke out, you hid him from the police, right? You hid him in exchange for his silence on your little dirty secret. Holy shit, bro. No, 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 no. Please calm down. Are you in trouble, boy? I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. To pretend to be ignorant all you want. We're taking you down to the precinct anyway for a nice long chat. You can start sweating now, boy. Ah, oh, hot damn. What's hold? Who's holding it? We can't hold anything else. We're done. We're done here. What the? Who the heck was that? Oh, whoa. No way. This dude again? You're shitting me. I'll take him down to the precinct if you don't mind. Who the heck are you? No, not... Not you again! I'm Jacques Sportsman, I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Oh, Jacques, thank goodness- Of course you two would hang out, I could see it. Don't jerk me around. This is an Interpol case, keep your paws off my suspect. <laughs> Sorry, I can't comply. I've got the backing of the prosecutor's office. See, in this country, we prosecutors work with the police to bring cases to court. Wow, he's gonna get mad. So, if you could please cooperate with me here, that'd be great. Now, how about a handshake to seal the deal? Don't touch it. Sorry, but I hate prosecutors the whole lot of you. Yeah, spit on them. Take away his stupid headband. Guys, arrested two suspects. Sir! Oh shit. This is gonna be bad. There's gonna be a fight. Oh, I almost forgot. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, is it? I'd like to thank you. Thank me? Yeah, for working so hard to fulfill my goal. You're welcome, I guess. Hey, is that any way to thank someone? And what the heck is that supposed to mean? You were so relentless with Lance that you forced Ernest to tamper with the evidence. Thanks to that, I finally had a legitimate reason to arrest him. Oh, you're welcome, dude. I didn't like him anyway. So how does it feel to bite the hand that feeds you? I don't care. Someone else will feed me, I'm sure. The hand that feeds me, I'm not sure I follow. Ta! It's no use pretending with me you're the one, right? You're the corrupt prosecutor that's working for Mr. Amino in the smuggling ring, right? Uh, no, sir. I think it's the one behind me, actually. The one that just appeared? No. I would never do such a thing. Tch, what the heck? Our intel's never wrong. Sir, he's right behind- he's literally right behind me. I bet you that's him. In your prosecutor's office, there's definitely someone working with the ring. Ah, oh, so Agent Lang suspected my relation to Mr. Amino. That must be the real reason behind his antagonistic attitude. No! I think he's just an asshole. On top of that, your mentor was Manfred von Karma, right? Oh, here- Why is everyone always bringing up old stuff? There was a non-stop rumor about flying around about forged evidence with that guy. You're not twisting the truth behind those closed courtroom doors too, are you? I'm telling you right now it's the one behind me, but it's just libel, so I can't say shit. The 
The courtroom is a place where the truth is revealed. <laughs> well, don't worry, it's not only you. The whole lot of you can't be trusted. A prosecutor never lost in 40 years. Every defendant must be found guilty. <laughs> Fueled by those ideas, is it any wonder the courts produce nothing but falsities and lies? It would seem that his disdain extends beyond just me. Oh, he's gonna love the other guy. You know what, I got this guy to introduce you to. His name is Jacques and he's an asshole. The guy's angry, I'm sure we're gonna find out why soon though. It's probably gonna come up. Rest assured, the next time we meet, I won't be so forgiving. All right, 2B, he's gonna hit me with, his la with our laser. So don't you forget it. Damn. Yo, can you take this pink, no, take this fool with you. Please wait. 2B, Agent Sheena. Why does Agent Lang hate all prosecutors, sir? You can't lie to me, you're an android, you're not allowed to. Lang is the head of the long-honored house of Lang and Zheng Fa, Bipu. The heads of all police-related divisions in that country were of Lang blood. Were? What do you mean by that? Aren't they still? They were revered, but that was long ago. They don't hold that sort of sway anymore. And it was all because of the courts. How can that be? A prosecutor once withheld and tampered with the evidence one of the Lang detectives found. That evidence's purity was tarnished and cost the Ling family its honor and trust. But not all prosecutors are like that. No. Even so, Ling will never respect the court or any prosecutor. Uh, Bipu. Oh. So Agent Lang is a man who hates all courts and is unwilling to forgive prosecutors. Oh, man, what a piece of work that guy is. Come on, Jim, we better catch up. Yeah. We still gotta deliver that thing to the old man after all. I bet you're gonna deliver something to him. Gross. Anyway, we did it. Yeah, I'm excited. Detective Gumshoe, I believe it's time we wrapped up and headed home ourselves. Yeah, are you going home too, Mr. Edgewood? No, I've done nothing but be entangled in one mess after another since my return. If it's alright with you, can you drop me off at my office? No problem, sir. Um, excuse me. Yes? What is it? Um, I uh, that is. Uh, thank you very much. That's okay. No need to tag me, pal. Just doing my job as a detective. I guess I was fooled pretty badly by Lance. <laughs> oh, cruel fate! What's a woman to do when she's been hurt by the one she loves? And to think I never realized my father was right there. I never said anything to him. I knew it. I'm, I'm a failure. Ah, uh, there she goes again, talking to herself. Miss Pops, I wonder if you know why your father participated in the kidnapping? No, I have no idea. Your father died while he was trying to stop Lance. Which means that from the beginning he had no interest in the stage self-abduction. Wait, then why did he- I believe it was because of your presence, Miss Pops. Me? Lance realized that the two of you were related. Which is why he used you as a hostage to coerce Mr. Devore into cooperating. Father! As a felon, he could not tell you his real relation to you. However, as an Amino family butler, at the very least, he was able to watch over you. It was all he could do, but that was the shape of his overflowing love for you. Aw, oh, poor thing. It'll be alright. Go on, speak your mind. I... I... I um... that is... Th thank you very much. You're welcome. Although, there is no need to thank me. Is... are you alright, girl? Uh, no, Lauren, stop. I mean, the man's so much older than you. Girl, he can't be that much older than you, let's be honest. Oh god, alright, she's off. Ha, <laughs> looks like you've completely stolen her away, Mr. Edgeworth. Way to go, sir. Your technique is way beyond the level of a great thief. What? What are you going on about now? Well, your deducing skills may sound, but you have no street smarts. That's Mr. Edgeworth for you. Yeah, I mean, he still hasn't figured out who I am at all. What? Well, if you haven't remembered in all this time, I guess I'm just gonna have to say it. This isn't the first time we've met you now. It's not? What do you mean, pal? Mr. Edgeworth? How do you know this girl? <laughs> Looks like you totally forgot me too, Gummy. Gummy? What the fuck? Uh... Here, maybe this will jog your memory. I promised I'd return it to you one day, remember? That's... What the... That single piece of cloth took me back far into my past. 
to that fateful day seven years ago when I first met then-child Kay and Detective Gumshoe. 